Hello, Lisa here again from Wee Willy Wonder Falls, and in this video we'll be showing you how to do a colour change. Um, now, we're assuming that our pattern is going to tell us to change colour from the next round. Um, so what we're going to do is start the whole process in the last stitch of the round before we change in colour. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a double crochet in the last stitch of our round and we're going to start as if we're going to just do a double crochet as normal. So we're going to go in, grab our yarn and pull it through and instead of going over the top and pulling the grey yarn through we're going to join our new colour ready for the next round. So all we're going to do is grab the end of our pink yarn, pop it over our hook. So for the second stage of the double crochet stitch, we're going to hook the new collar and pull it through. We won't fasten that off quite yet. I'll wait till we're a couple of stitches in. So we've started that and got our yarn ready before the round starts. So I'll, I'll move the marker. And now we're going to start our first stitch with the new colour. So we're going to go in as normal and now we're going to use the new colour and just do a double crochet as normal and we're just going to continue in the new colour. So all we did was on the last stitch of the previous round before the colour change is we started our double crochet, did the first half of the stitch with our old colour and then joined our new colour and pulled through with the new colour. It just gives a neater change than just um, changing abruptly on the next stitch. And what we're going to do with the ends now, a few stitches past, is I want to pull that slightly so it's, the stitches are all the same size. So don't pull it tight so it's tiny and we don't want it loose so it's bigger than the others. So I'll just gently pull them both so the stitches are all quite uniform. And then at the back, all I'm going to do is double knot them. Don't pull it really, really tight, but you want your second knot to be tight to the first, just so it's secure, it's not going to come out. And then what we can do is just cut that, but don't cut it really short because it could unravel. So we're going to cut off the grey, a little bit short perhaps, but don't cut it really short because you may find it it unravels and then we're just going to carry on and that's how to do a colour change. We do have another video coming up next which is called the jogless colour change and in that one we're showing you a different method which is more complicated so it's more suited to more experienced crochets, crochets um, but it does give an even neater finish. But this one is um, is a nice neat finish and is, uh, is good for most people so thank you for watching and I'll see you again on the next video.